is in Paris, bro. I haven't been on TikTok for a little bit. Ticka, ticka, tick tock. Mission to get valid eats. So let me start off by saying the scenery here is crazy. Even the train, I was just, I was just in awe. I'm not gonna lie, like, you could tell I was a tourist. Well, then again, I was blasting loud music. I don't know, man, it just do something to my soul, bro. Had everyone looking at me like I was crazy or something. That's my uncle, by the way. I just met him. Cool guy. Cool guy. And luckily, I was with him. Because these train stations not like New York, bro. You see this? <laughs> Yo, I just peeped that guy was in my video. I'm not even trying to be funny, but like, everyone over here looks like they should be a model. Everyone's above, like, six foot here. I'm breaking my neck. Back to the trains, though. Look at how colorful this is. You don't see this in the States. Rate the flicks, though. Valley? 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 Back to the scenery. Like, look. I wonder if people are paid to do this or if it's just random people doing graffiti. More crankage. You know I had to get the music video B-roll. I'm really a content creator. Hold on. Like... <sighs> Cancer. Nah, they really smoke cigarettes crazy here, though. I ain't used to those type of fumes in my system. I was getting lightheaded. Speaking of fumes, y'all don't got gas, bro? I was trying, you know what I'm saying, get a little J before my meal, bro. I'll be smoking on some dirt. But yeah, one thing I gotta respect Paris for is how clean they keep these streets. I walked a whole lot and my shoes were still clean. Anyways, we eventually made it to the meat market. But I eventually decided to go out to dinner with my cousin. He had to order everything for me because I didn't know what the hell was going on. What else they got on it? Uh, beef. No, no beef, like the meat, the oh, yeah, yeah. Thing. Yeah. tomatoes, All right. lettuce, All right. if you want. All right. Parmesan cheese? Yeah. What's that? Sauce ain't Yeah, that's the... Uh, I just don't want tomatoes on my... Yeah. I, you can I, tell I, me? Uh, my God! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, bro, I don't know what's going on, man. Everything looks so fancy over here. Like, yo, it's just sparkling lemonade. Could've just put it in a cup and gave me a shrub. I would've been all right. I can't complain, though. The food was good. The fries needed some salt, though. But overall, I give it an 8 out of 10. A2 was supposed to be me getting clothes, but I've been asleep all day. I ain't gonna lie. Mission to get nice at football. FIFA is... 2K in Paris. This is day two for y'all, but since I got here, I don't think I've seen any other game being played on this TV. And let me tell you, it may be a video game, but this ain't no game. Before I just hop in and start playing, I watch these two go at it for a couple games. Feel me? My athletes get it. You gotta watch your film. After watching a little bit, it was kind of similar to basketball. In a little sense, you gotta know what you're doing with the soccer ball. But don't get too fancy with the ball, because passes is way more effective. Shout out Coach Dave. It was nice watching them go at it. Brought back memories of when my cousin used to live with me. <laughs> Yo, you only scored a goal, bro. It's not even that serious. <laughs> He's so salty. <laughs> He's so salty. But yeah, eventually I hopped on the sticks. Not gonna lie, I was a little nervous. I didn't want to embarrass myself. But hey, after my boy told me the controls, I wasn't doing too bad. First game, I was really doing good on defense. Probably because I'm from Jersey. Jersey, Union County, you know what it is. Second game, I scored twice. And one of them was pretty sick. First go. <laughs> hey. Okay, I guessed it. Not too bad for a beginner, though. When everyone goes to sleep, I want to keep practicing. So I have to beat <laughs> Best belief. Until next time. How y'all doing, feel me? I tried recording day three like three days ago. But anyways, mission to get valid fits. One thing I gotta say, bro, Paris made me realize how big America is. Especially no obesity rate. Cause boy, luckily I just started working out again. But let me tell you, if you above, maybe even a medium, it's gonna be a struggle to find some clothes, my boy. Maybe I just had some bad luck. But it's rare to see a lot of fat people here. Everyone's so tall and skinny. And y'all be putting it on too. I went to a mall called Val de Europe, right? And all I seen was Prada, Balenciennes, feel me? Even little ass kids wearing no effect. Face jacket. To this day, I've never owned my own North Face jacket. Best believe you're gonna be spending some money here, my boy. But yeah, it was kind of motivating seeing that. Next summer when I come here, I I'ma save way more than I did this time. I got a cool vest from Zara, though. Rate right the flicks. Valid? Valid? Valley? Next stop, Westfield Forum This Holes. I know I butchered the name. But yeah, this stop wasn't too bad. I went to a store called Go Sports. Kind of like a dick's. You can find some nice athletic gear here, especially for the soccer players. It's crazy how soccer is Paris' main sport, but y'all breed the tallest people. How's y'all hoop league so trash? That's crazy. I tried going to Zara, but everything was closing. I really wanted one of those satchel joints I be seeing everyone wear here. Like this joint. That's my man's, by the way. I just met him when I got here. Who got? I can't understand nothing right now, cuz. I'm trying my best. I got people asking me questions, where certain that, and I'm just like, yo, you out of luck, because I don't understand what you saying, my I came to this store the first day. I had to come back again to get these jeans I was with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to mess with this brand, though. What's the name of this place again? Uh, this uh, brand? Yeah. Yeah, what well he said. They got some fire jeans here. The first day I came here, I got something else, but I don't want to show that. I want to surprise the shorties when I come back for school. These prices, no joke, man. <laughs> One pair of jeans, 99 euros. I felt like it was worth it, but fuck it. Oh, well.
like I said, you better have money. But yeah, here's a little photo dump of everything I got. I feel pretty cool, so in my opinion, I'd get a 10 out of 10. But I'm gonna eventually get more clothes. I won't be posting on TikTok, so uh, if you'd like to see more, um, I'd say my other socials, but you know how TikTok be. But yeah, till next time. Yo, 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 day four. Your boy just got out of the shower from fresh and clean. Mission to get valid eats. Again. But before we even talk about food, your boy is looking a little scruffy. So, me and my uncle decided to go to the barbershop. And luckily, it was pretty close. I'm not gonna lie, I'm blessed with the comments. I didn't know I had everything by me. Like this shop. This is down the street from my crib. I checked the store out a different day. Be selling like vintage clothes and all that. And bro, the owner is cool as Bro, she had YouTubers I used to watch all the time pop in the store. ASAP Rocky. Supposedly, she's ASAP Rocky's good mans. And they followed my gram. I'm not gonna lie, I was cheesing for the rest of the day. It felt like I'm at ASAP's auntie. I'm basically his cousin. But yeah, we eventually made it to the barber shop. I'm not gonna lie, I was very nervous. Getting a new barber as a black man is very difficult. Especially in a different country. You know, usually I'll be like, yo, let me get a temp, feel me? But I didn't even want to make myself look dumb. Because I didn't know if they went by the same terms. So I just showed him this picture. I would have showed him anything else. But this is all I had. But bro, after I got my cut it made me question the barbers i've had in the states my man used one clipper the whole time he didn't even use a guard for my fade you don't know how scared i was for how it was gonna turn out bro i've never seen a barber not use a guard for a fade but pete my man did surgery on me i'm not gonna lie this is your guy if you come to paris and keep in mind this is only 10 euros that's like 11 bucks i'm paying 25 back in the states what y'all think though Valid? And I'm surprised he did it so fast. Bro, usually for a haircut like this, I'm in a chair for an hour. And he did my eyebrows like, look, I'm really wailing and styling, you heard me? But yeah, me and my new friend eventually made it to Otakos. I've been seeing a lot of debate in the comments. Had to haul my ass over here because it's raining like Okay. I want a medium. Okay. He does all... What fry? Uh... It's like cheese sauce. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to choose... To me. What do you think would be the best? This. What's that? Is that, is that seafood? <laughs> no, no. Gonna kill me, man. <laughs> I didn't really know what to put on mine, so I just put on what felt right. Oh, taco. Man, I really gotta pick up on my friends, because I didn't know what the hell the cashier said. But yeah, they gave me a beep to let me know when my food was done. Didn't take too long. I was out of there in like 10 minutes. My boy got some swag right there. This is what I'm talking about. Everyone just looks like they should be a model. I'm trying to get like him. I'm a little wet. Pause. I'ma give my honest review on this old taco thing y'all beefing about in my damn comments. Mm. I think this is about a buzz in my opinion. Live taste test. I'ma be honest. It's mid. It's mid. It's not as. For the amount I paid, I don't think it's worth it. But yeah, overall, I give it a 6.5 out of 10. Because I finished it. But did I really enjoy it? Anyways, until next time. I'm trying McDonald's in Paris. Mission to watch Valid Films with my mans. Just met her, by the way. Cool gal. But we have different views. She thinks McDonald's in France is better than America. She's crazy. The size, I can't respect it. In America, it would have been way bigger. You're going to see the taste. You want me to finish it? <laughs> it's not better than America. I can't lie to you, but that shit is still fine. Uh... Let's taste the fries, though. Me personally, I don't like salty fries, I like too salty, so this is better. Before we hung out, we was arguing for like an hour. Cause I was genuinely concerned for her mental health. How can an American restaurant be better in France? Come on now. And it's more expensive here. She's wailing. But anyways, after we ate, we were on the way to the cinema. Usually I call it a movie theater, but supposedly that's where people sing. Something like that. But yeah, and y'all was really coming for me when I said the train stations here was clean. I don't think y'all been to New York. Like, come on, look at this. What is that, a grocery store? Supposedly Monoprix is France's Whole Foods. France is similar to the US. You want groceries for a better price? Go to the hood. Wait, they put clothes and groceries in the same spot? <laughs> Yo, what? We about to check this place out, Mono Pricks. I was looking at the options for drinks, and it was pretty interesting. Maybe I don't get out enough, but I've never seen water in a can. And my question is, why? You want to try one? I mean, it's just water. Why'd they put it in the can? Ooh, you enjoy this? No, not at all, to be honest. This is Paris Girl's green tea? She only drinks it to feel healthy and bougie. So supposedly, whitewashed people is called bounties. Yes. She gets that a lot. I found that pretty cool. Because I'm whitewashed too, I ain't gonna lie. Which one's your favorite? I don't like this one. Because to be honest, it's like, it's really coûté, en fait. Vraiment, it's coûté. It's coûté. Yeah, yeah. What she said. This girl is a yogurt fiend. She doesn't like the U.S. because they don't have a lot of options like they do here. And listen to this. I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> you still going to eat this? You better apologize to that <laughs> toilet. <laughs> yeah. and... We eventually made it to the cinema. She kept making fun of me because I kept saying MK2 instead of MK2. Something like that. I'm trying my best out here, man. And it didn't even feel like a movie theater. I mean, cinema. Everything was so quiet and empty. USA is a theater, cinema, a little better.
We didn't get snacks, but she feels like the snack options in the U.S. is way better. And everything in France has got to be so aesthetic. This is different. It looks like portals or something. Esthetique. 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 I'm learning French, y'all. Y'all see. I'm not gonna lie. I was very excited to see this movie. I was trying to watch Spider-Man before I came here, but I'm not mad at all. There was nobody in this joint. Maybe because it was the English version? But yeah, at most, there was like two people. And I got to enjoy some baby food. I think this is better than in the U.S. too. Yeah. If you talk about how they're here. Yo, I cannot stop smiling. Bro, I was gonna clap like so loud and stand up. I felt disrespected. Like, come on. Did you see that one guy? He didn't even... He just got up. Like, nothing happened. Movie's over. Time to get home. Like, what? Tonight, I'm gonna think about the new trigger. <laughs> There's gotta be another me. Yes. Today was pretty dope. Overall, 15 out of 10. After the movie, we got some bubble tea. I think every girl from every country just loves bubble tea, bro. Shut I really think so. Six. I really appreciate y'all. I appreciate the love. Mission to see valid museums. For the amount of time I've been here, I have yet to see the mandatory sites as a tourist. So yeah, met another friend. She decided to take him to the Museum of Louvre? Louvre? I don't know. I'm trying my best. But yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Before I came to Paris, I had no interest in these artifacts you're gonna see. But surprisingly, it was very interesting. It was nice seeing all these statues in person. And it felt like I was in a castle. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I only read some of the artifacts. I really just like looking at the paintings and statues I saw. <laughs> Yo, especially this one. I don't know. When I saw it, I was just laughing for... <laughs> Yo, why are you choking a duck like that? Come on, man. What? You doing that? This one here confused us. Cause you see that image in the background? That's what the statue's supposed to look like. But how they know that? They only found those pieces. Some ain't adding up. But yeah, coming here was a great decision. It was a good opportunity to take some flicks. Let me know what y'all think. Valley? 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 But yeah, another thing. I gotta give respect for whoever's painting these ceilings. Cause bro, that's a lot of dedication to do that. Nudity here. It's not that we are just Americans. <laughs> got his butt cheek all <laughs> I feel like I'm too childish to be in a place like this. Clown and that Look at him. He should cool though. Mm-hmm. Damn, what are y'all eating back then? What did it? You want your casket to look like that? Yeah, in gold. But your face? Hell no. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> well, okay then. But yo, this room was pretty cool. Yeah, so this is my mine actually, but uh, it's locked. Why'd they lock it up? They stole it. Ah, yeah. Thieves. See, this wouldn't happen in the States. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that glisten though. I don't know what that is. It's the shine on the. Uh, oh, okay. She like, what the hell? Do you no, know, one of my American friends. I was like, how are you? And he was like, Stella. Stella. And I was like, huh? <laughs> and he was like, Stella. I was like, oh, Sunny. He was like, no, Stella. I never heard of that before from anyone. It was the person who said that? Was he white? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It had my sign on the ceiling. Okay, so I told Darlington. That he's gonna laugh when he see what's happening at the Mona Lisa. Oh my god! That's a line to uh, take the picture of the Mona Lisa painting. You know, I get it, but did you see that line? What do I look like standing in that? Look at everyone fiending. Yeah, we're not going in that line. They not playing with that painting though. That joint bulletproof and all that. But yeah, that was the end of the tour. I was pretty satisfied. Overall, I give it a 10 out of 10. Anyways, until next time.